I met Caitlin. She's in two of my four classes, and she's one of my all-star students in both. For Caitlin, dancing and moving is very natural, and that makes my job as a teacher very easy. But it also makes the experience of watching her perform much more enjoyable from an audience perspective. I first started when I was four years old and then competitively at five. I chose Western because I really liked the mountain atmosphere and I was really interested in the dance team that they had here and I heard that they were really building it up and thinking about going to nationals so I was really interested in competing with that and also making new friends through the dance team. I was put into a lot of sports at age four and three and I was put into soccer, swimming, t-ball, and everything I did, I just hated it. And instead of guarding the goal, I would just do cartwheels and do spins, and as supposed to be guarding the bases, I would just sit there and do turns and dance around. So finally my parents decided to put me in dance class, so I haven't really gone back since. <laughs> One of the first assignments that I gave to students was to write an introduction paper to me just so I could learn who you are. And she wrote in saying that her background is in contemporary and modern dance and that she teaches at a local dance studio. So that automatically caught my eye when she said, I'm also a dance teacher. So I'm like, okay, I can relate to you. There was a time in high school when I was studio dancing where I would just give it my all and it just never seemed to be enough for the instructors that I had at that point and it really takes a toll on you because the art is basically your body and you're just basically trying to do whatever they want but sometimes just isn't enough for the creativity that you have so it just kind of makes you feel like it's not worth it and you just wonder why you're keep putting yourself through all that hard work, blood, sweat, and tears of everything, but it's just you have to remind yourself that you love it every day and that without it you wouldn't really have anything. So. There's a thing called exercise bulimia, where you're just exercising too much. You may be eating like a normal human being, but you're exercising too much, so you're doing your joints and muscles and tendons damage through that way. Yeah, I've definitely um, seen people go through that. I've definitely seen that happen backstage. I have never gone through that because I love food too much and I could never ever be able to put myself through that. I'm sure every dancer has thought about, well, if I was just a little bit skinnier, you know, maybe they'd pick me or maybe people would respect me more, but you just have to realize that dance is such a hard and intense sport and art. It's not worth the extra addition to make yourself throw up or do any of those stereotypes with your diet or your body. I would just encourage those people to look at themselves and see how is this making me a better dancer, making me a better athlete, and hopefully they would realize that it isn't. So that would give them the permission to stop. Everybody's beautiful, everybody's, nobody's perfect, and I don't believe that there's one specific body type out there for anybody. Um, if you're a beautiful dancer, then you are beautiful as well. There's no fat, small, skinny, big, there's nothing that can be able to hold you back if you're an incredible dancer. I definitely would love for dance to stay in my life. I know after I graduate, I want to do a lot of different like dance auditions and stuff like that. However, I love the CJ department, and what I would love to happen is for me to have like a CJ job in the morning, mid-afternoon, and then um, end that job, and then go straight to like a dance studio and continue teaching for the rest of my evening. to dance and dance has saved me many times in terms of 
Um, getting through social problems, parent problems, boyfriend problems, friend problems, I'm just able to easily let that go through dance.